16 model year. The pricing spectrum that spans five trim levels in $16,425 from one end to the other, each step up tempting the prospective buyer with more goodies, right up to the fully loaded Elite model. The big Honda clearly is aimed at folks whose motoring agendas include lots of hauling. It can tow, up to 5,000 pounds with all-wheel drive, 3,500 with front drive. But more often than not, the payloads and tail kids. We probably don't really need to add that even though many vans are superior in almost all aspects of family hauling, pilot prospects would rather donate their kids to science than be seen in something with those telltale sliding side doors. View photos? There's irony in this vehicular phobia, since the pilot is a close cousin of Honda's Odyssey minivan, structurally speaking. But image rules in this realm and image is rarely rooted in rationality. Speaking of image, there are some within our walls who prefer the blockier looks of the previous generation to the slicker styling of the new. But slick is where the entire crossover segment is headed. Our first test of the Generation 3 pilot involved in a lead model, which includes everything in the vehicle's extensive inventory of features. This time, we are looking at one of the less expensive versions. If you draw your budgetary line at a Pilot X, what do you get? What do you forego? Is there a performance sacrifice? And what do you save? 